Time for some high school football talk. Here's the latest Max Preps rankings. No changes inside the top 10 this week as IMG Academy stays at number one after beating Bishop Sycamore and St. Thomas Aquinas stays at number three after defeating True Prep Academy and their season opener. We now welcome in our Max Preps experts. Joining me now is the director of programming, Steve Montoya, and national football editor, Zach Poff. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. Two of these teams in the top 10 are set to face off this week as number nine Northwestern and number 10 Central open their seasons. Zach, what can you tell us about this Northwestern squad? Man, hey, South Florida is no joke when it comes to talent. You can make the case they're the best in the country. And Northwestern's a squad that's won three consecutive state titles. They bring a lot of key players back from that team that won the state title last season. And you just look at the talent that Northwestern's produced over the last decade. You got guys like Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Devontae David. You got Teddy Bridgewater and also Amari Cooper. And this team has some guys that will probably be playing on Sundays. You got Romello Brinson at wide receiver, four-star Miami commit. You got Cameron Kitchens. And then also you got a quarterback who's only a sophomore, was named a Max Preps freshman All-American, Teron Dickens, Tyga. He's a big-time playmaker. And the thing I love with Northwestern, though, is Max Edwards, the head coach, always has his guys playing the toughest schedule. They open up with Miami Central, and then they follow that with a big-time game against number one IMG Academy. But, Steve, I'm looking forward to this game, man. Miami Central's got a bunch of dudes, too. This is going to be a fun one on Friday. Yeah, for sure. And these two teams have met 22 times since 2004, and they basically split it right down the middle. So you, you got to expect a really good game here. Miami Central was supposed to start the season off with St. John Bosco out of California, the defending national champions, but obviously COVID got in the way of that one. Miami Central returns Amari Daniels. All this guy did in the state championship last year was rush for 188 yards and four scores he'll be back it's good to see Miami Central back on the field and what a good way to start it off with Northwestern and also Lawrence Seymour uh, the offensive lineman uh, is back he's a Miami commit so like Zach said there's a lot of talent on the field and you'll have guys like uh, Dalvin Cook and Devontae Freeman rooting for Miami Central so you have a lot of famous alumni rooting this one on for sure no Florida teams in the rankings from 11 through 20 but we do have a new team inside the top 20. Archbishop Rummel moves from one moves up one spot after taking down Calvary Baptist. They improved to 2 and 0. Another team on that list making a statement is Pickerington Central in Ohio. They're now 8 and 0 on the season as they've moved on to the second round of the Ohio Division 1 playoffs. Steve, talk to me about this team. Yeah, this team has just been dominating teams. This last week was the closest anyone's got. 19 points. Uh, they average 41 points a game. They give up just five. They won 19 straight games. So Ohio's already getting deep into the playoffs, and, and this is the team in Division One that looks to be the clear-cut favorite. And, Zach, you see that going that way. Anyone going to get in their way? And, hey, when your defense is allowing 5.2 points per game, it's going to be hard to beat this squad, you know. Pickerington Central is a squad that's been to at least the state semifinals four consecutive years. And if they win two more games, it's going to be five straight. They've won two state titles since 2017. They won it all last year. And I expect them to win it all again this year. I love Lorenzo Styles Jr., a 2021 Notre Dame commit. Last week, the offense really couldn't get things going. He said, hey, guys, don't worry. I got you. He had a punt return touchdown, and he also housed a kick return touchdown. And he's also a dynamic wide receiver. And they got playmakers all over the board. Nick Mosley, a running back, he has 25 touchdowns this year, too. So it's always nice when you got two playmakers like Mosley and Styles Jr. to go with that dominant defense. I expect Pickerington Central to win their third state title since 2017 this year for sure. Looking at the rankings 21 through 25, we have Archbishop Hoban as a fellow Ohio team in there. They're now 6-0 after throttling Roosevelt 63 to nothing in the Division II playoffs. But the team we want to talk about here is Center Grove, the only new team to join the rankings this week. Zach, what made this team worthy of a spot in the top 25? You know, I was just talking about defense with Pickerington Central. It's the same exact thing with Center Grove, man. They, their defense is straight nasty. They haven't allowed more than 14 points in any game this season. They just beat a very legit Cathedral squad who's probably going to win the 5A state title in Indiana. They held them to 13 points. This was a school that, you know, beat three powerhouse programs from Cincinnati and St. X. 
Elder, and LaSalle. And, you know, Center Grove, they have a big-time defense. They also have a very good offense. Taven Jackson led them down the field in the final minute to beat Cathedral. They were down 13-10. to 10. He found the – he drove them down the field and got a game-winning touchdown pass with about 15 seconds left. So I love what they're doing on offense. He also got Carson Steele, but Caden Curry's the guy on defense that really gets this team going. I expect Center Grove to win a 6A state title and win their first state championship since 2015 this year. Yeah, and Indiana enters the playoffs. You have a, a handful of states around the country. We talked about Ohio. Utah gets go, going. Corner Canyon, 36 straight wins. Uh, they're going for their fourth consecutive state title uh, in Utah. So exciting times around the country in high school football. You have multiple states entering the playoffs, and you have some teams like Miami Central and Miami Northwestern just getting going. All right, interesting stuff. As always, guys, that's Zach Poff and Steve Montoya. Thank you, gentlemen. Here are the three games you need to be watching for in high school football this week. We mentioned the big matchup in Florida. We also have the top two teams in Arizona facing off, plus a regular season finale in Alabama with playoff seeding implications. For more on these games, head over to maxpreps.com.